Hello everybody, welcome to Coco's Crochet. I'm Litsa and today is episode two of our little mini series, Knitting Machine Makes. Now those of you who joined me last month know that I purchased myself two knitting machines. This 48 pin one <laughs> from memory, I'm pretty sure it is. And this one here is about 22 pins. Now they are the Centro machines, or I believe this one is, or it might be a knockoff, but let me tell you, it's equally as good. And this one here is definitely a Centro, because I thought if I'm going to invest money on a new little toy, <laughs> which they're not just toys, guys, they really do work wonderfully well, or something that I just wanted to play with, I just wanted to make sure that I didn't um, outlay a lot of money, because I do know that there are other giant machines with beautiful price tags that i wasn't prepared to pay so i thought this was an affordable option and you can hear all about that in episode one if you wish to now what i endeavor to do is go on youtube is where i've been looking at all the tutorials and bring to you as many of the knitting machine makes as i can because i don't know if you're like me i thought that the only thing that you could make quite naively now that I look back on it, that you could only make beanies. And let me tell you, the beanies that I've been making on the knitting machine have been very, very popular amongst my family and friends. So it has been a lot of fun experimenting with different colors. And they just keep coming and trying them on and saying, wow, I would like one of those. So I'm so already glad that I made this investment because even if I just made beanies on it, it would be enough. But I was so pleasantly surprised, and you might be too, that there are so many other things that we can make on our knitting machines. Now, I did touch on the fact that I thought that I was sort of like, um, you know, like letting crochet down, you know, if I started to use a knitting machine or cheating on crochet. And that's what put me off for a long time. I just couldn't do it. But then I just had to because I kept seeing a lot of our yarny friends that are crochets using one and I just got total FOMO and so here I am with a mini series and we're already on episode two so once a month I'll endeavor to try to bring you something if I could I'd use it every single day but obviously there's other things that I need to do and my crochet to-do list is from here to the moon and back so let's be real I can only dedicate x amount of hours to all of our different hobbies now I used the big machine um, for the make that I'm going to show you this week and I wish I had used the little one because after I show you what I made with it, it would have been perfect to make some little ones to go along with this big one. So you may remember last month when I showed you the machine, it had this yarn in it. So I had already started um, crochet, uh, crocheting, knitting with it and I had made... Um, a little like a tube that I started which was going to be a beanie at the time but then I had a second thought and I made something different so this is the yarn here that I have actually only experimented with so far and it is my spot saver oops let me show you it's a little bit of a floppy skein here 100% acrylic yarn and it is a 10 ply now this yarn doesn't matter whether it's variegated this one's a tweedy type yarn it's got the little um, bits that are flecky and also uh, sort of 3D on there. Um, whether it's plain, it loves it. This machine absolutely loves this 10 ply yarn. I am going to be experimenting with different yarns, hopefully sooner than later, and I will definitely be bringing you, you know, those results as well, so that you know you may have a clearer picture of what's in your yarn stash that might also be happy in a knitting machine. So you know that way we all know what keeps it going without breaking it down because that's very important because they are quite delicate let's be real so as i said you saw that i had this yarn in there i said at the time i was going to make it into a beanie but then because i was scrolling through youtube at all the different patterns that you can make of course i had to make a chicken guys wait till you see her she is so adorable look at that face crochet always has to come into it though i did use safety eyes and here it is here. How beautiful does that work up? Now, let me tell you, this does start off as a beanie. There are so many patterns on YouTube that um, because I'd seen so many, I basically just did it from memory. Um, it's just a simple, fun project. And what I was referring to is if I used the little one, I could have made some baby chicks. I've got plenty of yellow and colors that would be suitable. So maybe you'll see them in the future. But for now, look at her. She just makes me smile. I figure if you put some weights in the bottom as well, you could use it as a doorstop. So maybe some pebbles or 
not marbles, maybe marbles even. But anyway, I'm going off on a tangent now. So back to her. So the way you make her is basically you make a beanie. So you make a long tube. I actually stopped instead of like when I make a beanie, I do 135 rows. With her, I stopped at 85 rows. And I just thought, you know, let's see how tall she is and how chubby she gets just to have a gauge because you know you can make them any size you want obviously chickens come in various sizes and colors that's for sure but i just thought this was perfect so you make a beanie and you cinch up the top just like you would a beanie and then all you do is the bottom of the beanie now so you've made the top of the beanie and at the bottom you just sew that together and obviously the top becomes the bottom and the bottom becomes the top and when you get to a certain point it's so easy i would never have thought this is how you do it you pop in the um, eyes safety eyes i use and of course if you want to embroider your eyes or stick like glue them on that's your choice but i went with these this time and then you just crochet this little bit here and i never remember what it's called and embroider a little beak as well and voila there you have it a little chicken like i said every time i see her she just makes me smile i think she is so adorable now in the future i hope to create a little family for her so she can have some little chicks um and uh when i do that i will definitely be bringing them to you it's just time guys i ran out of time that's all it was and i thought about it a little bit too late but how wonderful would it be to have a little family here so again i use the i think it's 48 pins uh needles from memory guys and he worked up beautifully in that very quick and easy um i couldn't tell you from beginning to end but let's just say from the very start to the very end you could probably have one of these made in a good 45 minutes and she's really worth the time and effort so i'm going to pop her down just for a moment or can she sit up there i'll just pop her down here now the other thing that i made before this episode but i totally forgot to show it to you last time because i hadn't brought it up i made a little tiny baby baby beanie for leggy froggy and here it is here guys how adorable is that now this was just an experiment and obviously it doesn't take very much to make it and this was actually made on this little tiny machine here the 22 needles now let me show you this is leggy froggy that the beautiful Josephine, our Yanni friend Josephine had gifted me. And she already came with her very own beanie with a pom-pom. How adorable is that? Thank you, Josephine. But now she has a knitted beanie as well. So let me pop it on her. And it is just the perfect fit. Like when I made that, I just knew, let me just get it on with two hands. I can't do it with one, guys. Oh my gosh, look at her. How adorable is she in her knitted beanie? It's almost like a slouchy beanie, right? Anyway, I just thought that I would um, add this to her wardrobe and I think she looks very stylish in it. Now, it may not be the first colour choice, but it was the yarn that I had at hand because I was trying to experiment without actually having a pattern because I just couldn't wait when I got these knitting machines. So now she has two little beanies to keep her very very warm in winter and i'm so excited for that one crocheted and one knitted her wardrobe is growing guys i absolutely love it so she's going to be popped up there back where she sits in her yarn bowl very proud and up high looking um, and observing everything and hanging out with us so i'm going to put it down there now the other thing that i mentioned at the end of last episode was that our friend thea she had purchased um, an attachment that goes here on the handle so instead of cranking it round manually oh let me pop that on there the suction cups were stuck a little bit instead of cranking it manually because sometimes my arm hurts a little bit but also to you know help the project go quicker you buy this attachment here so there it is guys that actually sits there i haven't actually used it yet so i'm hoping that by the time i see you next month i've actually experimented with it so that sits there and then it's got that bit there that sits inside this. I also purchased this. Um, this is a screwdriver, but it's not a drill. A drill apparently will burn out your machine because it goes way too fast. So you put that attachment in that bit there. Oh, sorry, in here. 
pop that in there this is me guessing now i haven't actually watched a tutorial how to do it but i will and then it just makes the um you know the project go quicker so that will actually be quite beneficial and um, i'm hoping that i get to use it sooner than later because i want to experiment with it and also let you know um, how it works now these were very very inexpensive i'm trying to think of the site that i bought them off thea actually led me to like um suggested them and if i remember i will try to find and put it down in the description box for you um where we got it from but of course you can find them anywhere this was only about three or four dollars and this was about 15. so if this actually does what it says it does it's going to be a real time saver and it'll be really worth the money paid for because you know as you um, learn how to use your equipment so with this one for example I would like to be able to do what other people do and like they say you know I cranked out a beanie in 15 minutes I would love to be able to make four beanies in one hour because I could just be able to not only gift more but donate more so that's the goal for me and that's the reason why I bought it bought those two little attachments and accessories so that's pretty much it guys for um, our knitting machine episode two i hope you've enjoyed seeing her she is like i said i can't smile enough and tell you how much joy she's bought me she's just so cuddly and soft i absolutely love her we really need to call give her a name okay taking suggestions for what we shall name her please put them down in the uh, comments for me i would love to know um chicken little henny penny what else can we think of they're quite cliche ones aren't they if you come up with anything you know i'm open to suggestions and i will definitely be naming her something that one of you suggests so suggest suggest away oh, guys i just can't speak i'm just too busy smiling so i hope you're all well now if you've got had your knitting machine out and i do know that thea's been using hers i know that our friend rebecca over at yarn and pajamas has i've been watching her um if you haven't already you know if you're not hanging out with her you need to go and she's also incorporated her knitting machine as well and i know that a few of our other friends like rose from rose likes crochet and kristen from k and k crochet they've been using their knitting machines as well so so we're all in this together guys i don't feel like i'm cheating on crochet at all and i feel like i'm in very good company so i hope you've all been keeping well please share any of your knitting machine makes you know i love to see them and i will definitely be showcasing them on the next episode so until then guys take care bye bye for now